everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to Area 51. Welcome back. To, uh, I'm showing some comics today, and I'm also showing some hardcover books. I guess we're going to call them trades. They're not trade paperbacks, but they're trades. They're hardcover. And um, I got them at my dollar store, and I'm going to share with you what I paid for them and what they were uh, worth when they first came out and the dollar savings. And uh, I'd like to tell you I was playing the long game on this. I wasn't. Uh, these show up randomly at my Dollarama. I don't know in your area, but the fall, they usually seem to come in the fall. I think it's been what's left over from the whole year, and then they get them and they just drop them up. But let's start off with two comic books, two floppies that I got at uh, Value Village. Uh, second-hand store. This is from 1989. Andy Kubert is the cover artist and it is uh, G.I. Joe Special Missions. And uh, number, what number is this? Number number 19. Absolutely nothing fantastic about this book. It's just that uh, it was in a bag with this other one and I, I grabbed them because I like the G.I. Joe books. I grab them when I can. And this is uh, number one of six from uh, 2009. Pascal Ferry is your uh, cover artist and it is Spider-Man uh, clone uh, saga and again nothing uh, too fantastic about this book It's just that it was there and I thought I'd pick it up. I always like a good spider-man book shout out to my buddy real webhead who's uh, Been killing it on Instagram lately with his uh, IG covers really been doing good with those so we're gonna pull those off now what I'm going to show you are hardback books and uh, I guess we're gonna call them hardbacks now this is Justice League number eight um, and it is, yeah, number eight in, in its hardcover, and I got it from my dollar store for four dollars, and, uh, I am going to open this up here, just make this as quick as possible. I'm going to pull the, uh, the deal off here. Now, I got this for four dollars. Its original price tag with, uh, its original price tag was, uh, I think thirty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents. But up here in Canada, we have taxes to pay, so it would have been a $38 book. So I got it for four. It looks really good um, on the outside. The inside, of course, you know, it looks good as well. So, and I, I understand that it's number eight. I'm not sure which storyline this is, but there it was for four dollars. I'm not about to pass it up. So uh, $38 normally, but I got it for four, and I like it. I think it looks amazing. Then I grabbed this uh, Superman Wonder Woman uh, Volume 5, A Savage End. There it is there. And again, uh, another $4. Right there. $4. And this one was the same thing. $33.99, but with taxes, would have been $38. And uh, like I say, good old Canada, we have lots of taxes to pay for. And... Uh, yeah, every time you buy something, you've got to factor in the taxes here. All right, so again, another hardback book. It looks good. There it is there with the cover up, a little bit less shiny. I think it looks really good. And let's have a little quick look at the in interior art. Such as so. Looks nice. So again, this is uh, Volume 5, Savage End, Peter J. Thomas, Peter J. Tomasi, and Doug Mank Mankey. Uh, who lives and who dies. So there we go. Another, you know, not overly thick book, but still for four dollars, I'll definitely take it. Oh, sorry about my nose, guys. Uh, then this beautiful Superman, and this is Savage Dawn, right here. Superman Savage Dawn. Uh, this was thirty nine ninety nine, but with taxes and everything, would have been around forty five dollars and sixty cents. So again, um, we'll open her up. Have us a quick look, and, and I like grabbing these. Um, again, my comic book buying has really changed, and uh, I'm just going after used books and older books. I, I canceled my poll a long time ago. I just the modern stuff just doesn't appeal to me anymore. So there is uh, there is the Superman Savage Dawn right there. That's a good looking book, good looking cover, and uh, let's have a look inside. And I will read all of these. And there's the art inside. Looks really good, and again. It's got a slip cover. Yeah, the slip cover is just, it just says uh, Savage Dawn, so not bad, not bad. Then this one really caught my eye. This one, I really wanted this one when I saw it. This is Batman 66 and uh, Emma Peel and Steed. Now, Emma Peel and Steed, if you are not uh, of my age, they were known as the Avengers. In England, they were called the Avengers. And I noticed on this book they had to go with just uh, Batman. And again, four dollars. 
That's how thick it is. And they have to go with uh, Batman meets Steed, Steed and Mrs. Peel, because uh, I think there probably was a copyright name uh, up for the Avengers, and they were called the Avengers. But I remember even as a kid back in the day, I found it sometimes a little confusing when the Avengers would come on and it was uh, Steed and Mrs. Peel. And I did watch it, and um, I do believe she just passed away not too long ago. I think in 2020 she passed away in the spring. But what a beautiful book. I mean, Adam West, um, and I can't remember their, their real names um, uh, from their star names, but uh, I had to grab this one. I just absolutely had to have this book, and uh, I'm, I'm going to read this and enjoy it. So there you are, the dynamic duo and the other dynamic duo. The back looks like so. And this one um, was $33.99, but with taxes would have been $38. Again, I got it for four bucks, but what a great, what a great looking book. I'm so going to read this one and so enjoy it. Absolutely, you know I'm going to. Uh, then I grabbed this one, and this is Iron Man uh, Fatal Frontier. Right here, there we go. Um, good Iron Man book, can't pass it up. And uh, $4 on the back. And I paid, um, this one was $38.99 $38 with taxes, would have been $44.60. But I paid $4 for it, so I'm more than happy to have paid the $4. Uh, I'm not sure what storyline this Iron Man runs in, but uh, I will read this one as well. I'll read them all, but there's some that I want to read, uh, you know, first, and I'll get to the other ones a little later. Pull it out of the, the wrapping there, there we go. Let's have a look at some of the art inside, like so, there we are, nice book, back looks like so, and front looks like so, and again this was, uh, this would have been $44.60 but I got it for 4 bucks, so uh, pretty happy about that. And the last one was the one I really wanted to find, Star Wars um, Shattered Empire. This it covers 1 to 13, no sorry, uh, Shattered Empire numbers 1 to 4, and then you get the first uh, C-3PO number 1 in here as well. This is the one that really caught my eye and I had to have. Again, uh, this is um, $33.99, uh, I got it for 4 bucks. So let's get it out. This is the one that just, boy, since we're sitting, sitting in the Star Wars lounge, uh, this is right up my alley. I do have the floppies of this. I'm still going to read this anyways, I just think it's cool, but I never did get the uh, C-3PO number one. There we go. What a beautiful cover. I think it looks like Captain Phasma on the front there. The back looks like so. And the interior art looks like so. And there we are there. And again, I paid $37.61, uh, or I would have paid $31.67 had I bought this at a store. I paid $4 for it. So all of these books, and let's just uh, recap, Shattered Empire, Iron Man, Batman, Steed and Emma Poole, Steed and, and, and Miss Peel, sorry, Savage Dawn, Superman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and last but not least, Justice League. Now, had I paid full retail for these, I would have paid $241.21. But because these were all on sale for $4, I paid $24 for the whole thing. So I saved myself $217.21. So you can't go wrong with that kind of a deal. Now, again, I got these at Dollarama. I'm not sure what's happening in your uh, neck of the woods, whether this is happening there as well or not. But uh, that is a heck of a deal uh, when, you, when you have a, a look at it, when you can save that kind of money. Uh, on these uh, hardback books. These are not trade paper. I guess they're trades. Uh, I, someone fill me in on what this is. I mean, uh, they're nice hardbacks. And yeah, some people are going to say, well, you know, you're, you're in volume 8 on these and, you know, you missed the whole... But it's still, at that price, I'm not passing it up. So, just thought I would give you a quick look at what I picked up as far as comics go. I uh, hope everybody is enjoying um, the Halloween uh, uh, covers that are being all over Instagram. I'm really enjoying that. And uh, thank you. Let me know what you think of these. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. Uh, I do have an Instagram channel. It's Mike underscore area underscore 51. And uh, I think it's that. I'll have a look, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And stop in and say hello. And uh, I am going to read these. Let me know which one out of all of these was your favorite. 
And uh, if you do have a Dollarama, skip on down there and get into the book section and have a look and see if you can find some of these books because, like I said, they're blowing them out there cheap. Anyway, thanks a lot, everyone. We'll catch you on the next one. Area 51, Home of the Superheroes. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.